Hi there, welcome back to the third episode of Reinforcement Learning with TensorFlow Agents video series. My name is Wei, and I'm a developer advocate at Google. In our last episode, we walked you through how to use the built-in DQN agents in TF agents. In this episode, we are going to use another agent, Reinforce. In our very first episode, we showed you a few examples of using reinforcement learning for games. AlphaGo from DeepMind, the Falcon project from Google Research, and the Chimera game from Google Stadia team. Gaming is a hot testbed for reinforcement learning for sure. So how do we leverage TF agents to build a game then? We are going to show you today. The end result will be a simple board game we are showing here. The game is called Plane Strike. It's very similar to the Battleship game, if you have played that one before. The rules are very simple, so I won't read them out loud here. But at a high level, you play against an agent trained by reinforcement learning, and your task is to guess out all the agent's hidden plane cells in blue before the agent does to your plane cells. In order to make the game interesting and fun, we need to train a strong agent that can finish the game in as few steps as possible. To build such an agent, we are going to use a different kind of reinforcement learning algorithm, Reinforce, which is a policy-based algorithm. Recall that unlike the value-based algorithm DQN, which learns to predict the action state value, we are going to train a neural network to directly output the optimal policy. We won't go into the math here, but the basic idea for Reinforce is to adjust the policy network parameters based on the reward signals collected during the gameplay so that the policy network can maximize the return in future plays. Overall, we are following the same workflow as in our DQN episode. But before we dive into training the game agent, we need to first create a training environment from scratch, since there's no existing environment for our own purpose. Although TF agents can directly import custom gym environments, we are going to create a TF agents environment this time just to show you how to do this. TF Agents custom environment is actually pretty similar to OpenAI Gym custom environment, but we need to define six functions, init, step, reset, render, observation spec, and action spec functions. We won't go into the detailed code here, but feel free to check them out in the link here. After the environment is defined, we can easily import it. Unlike for the DQN agent, we define a Q network to predict the Q value. Here we define an actor network to represent the policy. We are using the familiar Keras sequential model, and the only thing I want to point out here is that the last layer, a lambda layer that outputs a categorical distribution. This is similar to our DQN agent for card pool. It's for discrete actions that can only be discrete numbers. We'll be discussing discrete versus continuous control in the next episode. Next, we are going to define our agent. Naturally, we're using reinforce agent here. The other pieces are pretty much the same as in our previous DQN episode. There are a couple of places you need to change for the replay buffer. Otherwise, it's almost the same. As Reinforce learns from whole episodes, we define a function to collect an episode using the given data collection policy and save the data, which includes observation, action, reward, and etc., as trajectories in the replay buffer. Finally, we run the training loop. You can see in TensorBoard that the average episode length gradually decreases, which means our agent is becoming smarter since we wanted to finish the game as soon as possible so that it can beat the human player. After training, we can export the policy as saved model for deployment using the policy saver. But we're building a mobile app. We cannot directly use saved model. This is where TensorFlow Lite comes in. TF Lite is a framework to run machine learning models on mobile and IoT devices. We won't go into details about TF Lite here, but the standard TF Lite flow is first, we use the TF-Lite converter to convert the saved model to a TF-Lite model, 
and then we deploy the model into an Android or iOS app. Here, we use the converter to convert the model. This is standard tier-fied conversion flow. Then we can invoke the converted model on Android to get the predicted action. Feel free to check out the tier flight documentation to learn more. In the end, you get a working Android app in which you get to play against the agents you just trained with TF agents. I think that's pretty cool. So today we walked you through an end-to-end -end example of how to leverage TF agents to train a reinforced agent for a custom environment, convert the model to tier flight, and deploy it on Android. Please check out the first blog here to learn more. In our next episode, we are going to learn about continuous control, the actor learner API, and distributed training. See you next time. <laughs>